Welcome to Orion Care Solutions online timesheet tutorial. This tutorial will help walk you through the steps to submit your timesheets online. Please notify your supervisor with the email address that you wish to use as a login. Please note that a valid email address that you check regularly is required in order to use the new online timesheet entry. Also note that AOL email addresses are not compatible with DDR, and you will need to use Internet Explorer for your search engine. If you have previously used DD Reports and your email address has not been disabled or you are a current user, you will need a different email address to log in for Orion. You will be sent an email invitation to set a password from DD Reports. When the email is received, copy and paste the complete URL into your browser. It says that you can click on the link, but some browsers don't pick up the entire link, and it may not work, so we recommend that you copy and paste for best results. You will be prompted to create a password that is at least seven characters in length. Choose two security questions that will be used to verify your login, should you forget your password. Please write your username and password down so that you don't forget it. Once you have created your password, you will be able to log in to the billing system. DD Reports will also work with a smartphone. Enter ddreports.com in your search engine after you have signed up and established a login. After you have logged in, you will be at the time card entry screen. Please make sure that you are entering time in the proper pay period. For example, if you are entering time for the pay period of January 1st through 15th, 2013, the pay period drop-down should say 1-15-2013, the last day of the current pay period. Choose the name of the individual you are working with and entering time for from the drop-down menu next to the pay period drop-down. If you are only working with one person, only one name will appear. If the name of someone you are working with does not appear in your drop-down, please notify your supervisor. Enter your time in the time card screen. If you worked on the 5th of January, you put 5 in the first box. You do not enter the month, only the day. Enter the time you started and the time you stopped working into the next boxes. Also, please note you must round up or down in increments of 15 minutes. For example, 107 would be entered as 1 o'clock and 108 would be entered as 115, etc. Please make sure that you use cor the correct AM PM modifier after your time. For example, 2 o'clock PM would be entered as 0200P. 11 o'clock AM would be entered as 1100A. The default is AM, so if you don't choose an A or a P, AM will be automatically entered. Choose the proper service code in the next box and click the tab key. Say for example you worked on the 5th from 11 a.m. until 1 o'clock p.m. on habilitation with the individual you provide services to. Your entry for this would be as follows. You will type 5 in the first box under day, then click the tab key on your keyboard. Type 1100A in the next box under time from. Click the tab key on your keyboard type 0100P in the next box under time 2. Then hit the tab on your keyboard. Type H and habilitation will appear under service type. Click the tab to calculate, then click tab again to go to the next line. If you run out of lines, click the gray box at the bottom that says add. If you work more than one service during the day, such as providing respite after habilitation hours, follow the above steps for each service and each time entry. Once you have entered in your time, click the Submit button. After you have clicked Submit and the hours were inputted successfully, an icon saying Waiting Approval will appear. You will also notice that there will be a button that says Print. When your timesheet is ready at the end of the pay period, please click Print. When your timesheet appears on the screen, right-click and choose Print from the menu. Your timesheet will then print. If you work with more than one individual, choose Print All so that timesheets for each person appear. 
Once your timesheets are printed, please have the parent or guardian review and sign the timesheets. Fax or email the signed copy to your supervisor. Your time will not be submitted to payroll until your supervisor has received a signed copy of your printed timesheet. Please note, at the top of your time card entry screen, there is a link that says click to show authorizations. Please click this to show how many hours you have available to work. You will need to notify your supervisor to get clearance to work if there are no hours available. It will be your responsibility to ensure there are hours available for you to work prior to working. It is advised that you enter your time every day as you work, similar to a time clock, so that you can see the hours available for the next day. Please also note that if there are numerous staff working with that individual, the hours will be split among all staff. Daily entry is encouraged to ensure proper payment and accurate accounting. When entering in your timesheets, they will need to be entered by the due date, or you won't be able to enter them in the correct payroll section. For example, if you work the 1st through the 15th, you will need to have it entered by noon on the 16th and ready to print and get it signed and faxed or emailed. If you work the 16th through 31st, you will need to have it entered by the 1st by noon. The best thing to do is to enter your time daily into DD reports to prevent any issues since you should be logging your hours daily already. If you are late entering your time into the DD report system, you will not be able to enter your time and will need to contact your supervisor. Thank you for viewing our online tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact your supervisor.